Hello, note taking nerds. If you are tired of juggling between different note taking apps and at the end of the day making notes which is completely useless to you, well, you are on the right video. In the last video, we had seen how to build a complete productivity ecosystem out of which note taking was one of them. And I had said that note taking is a complete different ecosystem by itself. Well, here I am to explain that. Let's get started. First up, let's talk about the types of note taking apps out there. We have got apps for PC, mobile apps and hybrid apps which are available on PC and mobile and I don't know, some other console or some shit. But which one is the best for you? Or is there anything called the best one for you which fits you the most? Well, it depends. It depends on how much you work digitally, how nerdy you are, whether you're fast at typing or fast at writing, and how you objectify your notes, such as using charts, kanbans, or written diagrams and so on. Now, let's get into good stuff. Here are top 5 note taking apps on each category. For PC apps, first off we have Emacs. This is basically the note taking app if you want to kill yourself. I mean, Emacs is not a note taking app, let's be honest, it's meant for text editing but I also know a lot of people who use Emacs for fucking note taking which kind of makes no sense for me because the whole primary reason why Emacs is made is to go ahead and then edit text and files and so on. Using this as your primary mode of making notes is like saying you want to use a Chromebook as an Android mobile phone. but I will have to say, if you want to use Emacs for creating readme files or org mode files for documentations of specific products or softwares and stuff like that, or just as documents for yourself or for your team, I think it does do a really good job for that. With that said, for personal note taking wherein you need just a quick app for just writing down stuff which you want or just to document stuff in your personal life, making lists, to-dos and so on, which is Emacs might or might not be a good thing for you based on what you want. Next up we have Obsidian. This application was my personal favorite for taking notes. It uses again markdown text to store all your data and you could externally store it in your preferred cloud platform to sync it between other devices if you want. But personally speaking, the main reason why I love this is because it uses this markdown text but at the same time makes it so beginner friendly that it does not feel like it is being a text editor because it's not obviously. It's meant to be a note taking app and it does its job to do so but in a more text like as well which makes you read all the notes even in other text editors if you want which is not the case in stuff like other note taking uh, other note taking softwares wherein you have to save text just in the particular note taking app because it does not allow you to well open it in a form of file next up we have notekit i'm going to be honest i have not used this application for a long time it's just a basic application which allows you to take notes again uses a markdown text processing to go ahead and then view your notes. The main thing which I love about this application is that it uses this beautiful hierarchy which you could change around and make it more organized if you want. But at the same time, it does not provide you some stuff like viewing all the notes in the form of a diagram which Obsidian provides. But it also has some which Obsidian does not provide like drawing in the note taking app itself using your tablet or something like that which personally i am a big fan of i use a lot of uh, writing stuff in using my writing tablet and it does help me in that way as well again the next one we have zettler which is very very similar to the previous ones but the only difference which i find in here is that i feel that zettler is more like a writing app rather than a note taking app as in it's made for writers who writes articles and different kind of books and stuff like that which 
and then finally you know organize them into one complete ecosystem of books or stuff and you know you know what i'm trying to say it's it focuses more on the editing part of it rather than focusing on the writing or uh, giving extra features like pages and links and all of that stuff again this also uses markdown just like any other editor which i just talked about before so yeah have fun with that next up we have simple notes which has been around for a while in the game but it also recently completely open sourced itself and when i say recently i mean at 2016 yeah time flies but here's the thing this amazing application allows you to do a lot more stuff than just writing just like previous ones but it also does not use markdown it uses something called nothing it uses the application itself to go ahead and then sync around with your account and is available on android linux mac os ios what not and is basically completely easy beginner friendly again just like the other ones it goes with a more text editor like approach and has a more simple ui the uh, user interface itself is so simple that i decided not to use it yeah but you get my point it's made for very simple users who just want something to have stored somewhere out there moving on to the mobile applications we have joplin this application of course is also available in pc so yeah i'll also add this in the hybrid apps where you know you have all the apps stored in all sorts of devices and joplin is probably the best open source note taking app out there i love joplin because it does everything and anything you want the only thing which i don't like about it is that it does not allow me to store notes in the form of a written tablet format you know you know what i'm trying to say but to just dodge this off i use our notes and then finally take a screenshot and then copy paste it into the notes wherever needed and wherever i want to draw a diagram sort of stuff and by the way if you are wondering why i did not add our notes into my list of pc apps it's basically because it's not feature rich the only thing it allows you to do is write and i'm pretty sure that most of you guys watching this video want to like actually take notes and type it down or something like that and if you want to write it through your tablet or mobile phone our notes is not available in android or ios or anything like that so the only way you could reach out to our notes is through like having a drawing tablet and using your pc for writing which i i don't know if most of you could do it but if you could and if you want to just do written notes in your local pc without syncing it to the other devices you have our notes is probably a good option for you moving on we have obsidian again for mobile apps i'm not going to talk much but again it's an amazing application for mobile apps as well again the only thing is it does not allow you to sync for free next up we have craft which is an amazing application considering that it allows you to be very colorful and vast when it comes to the notes itself the ui is clean and beautiful the main reason why i like this is because it's just does the job you need it also has like tasks and stuff which you could also add making it kind of an all in one application instead of using like google calendar and tasks and all of that stuff you could just go with this one application for everything but the only reason why i don't use it as my primary note taking app is because it's not open source and it's not like google calendar or google task wherein i could easily like sync in between my pc and stuff like that and you get my point i want my workflow to be separated i want a note taking workflow separately and uh, you know task and events workflow separately i've spoken more on this in my previous video you could go ahead and then check that out next up we have standard notes which again is completely free and open source this note taking application is more like evernote wherein you could like make notes through the format of books you know you have pages and you have notebooks and you have all sorts of separations similar to books if you have explored the internet 
regarding the note taking applications you probably know that there are three types of note taking apps the architects the librarians and the gardeners the architects being applications such as notion or rem notes and stuff like that librarians being stuff like standard notes one note ever note and stuff like that and finally the gardeners with applications like obsidian and all of that markdown note taking application you probably get my point right this works more like a book when compared to other note taking applications moving on finally to the hybrid applications this is what i call the all in one note taking apps wherein you could do anything and everything you could sync calendars between devices you have the application itself available everywhere you want this is the most feature rich applications i could ever find and at number 1 obviously we have notion it has everything you need unfortunately it's not open source and yeah there's nothing much to say about notion because it's really popular and most of the applications have actually inspired from have actually taken the inspiration from notion itself so it's it's very popular when it comes to note taking and then we have joplin which is a note taking app which is very similar to notion but well guess what it's open source it's it does everything notion could do manage calendars create to do lists create pages books and so on but the only thing which i find a bit different when it comes to joplin when compared to notion or any other architect applications like that is that joplin is way more nerdy when it comes to not only the feel but also the features the learning curve in joplin is way more when compared to learning curve of notion or evernote or something like that and then we have evernote itself evernote is again made for librarians wherein you have books and then you can also like create pages in them and then you know the workflow itself is more like books you get my point and then we have onenote which i'm not going to talk much because again if there is a proprietary application out of all of these onenote is probably the most proprietary application of all i mean of course even notion is proprietary even the other ones which i'm going to talk about is proprietary but onenote is the most proprietary yeah there's a tier list of being proprietary onenote is on the higher tiers and then we have google keep which after reading the terms and conditions and all of that stuff i realized that google keep is actually open source the licenses is completely using the open source license the application itself is available on github or gitlab i don't know i'm not sure but yes it is completely open source you can actually have a look at it right now if you go ahead open up google keep and have a look at the bottom left this application is well completely website based you can't have an application of this although you could create shortcut using your web browser if you are using a chrome based web browser and it uses a completely sticky notes kind of workflow when it comes to taking the notes itself it's completely free there's no subscription scheme for this and also completely colorful when it comes to the note taking if you want it has a lot of features but also makes it simple enough for everybody to use i would say this is not the best application to use if you are more into like detailed note taking applications google keep is probably best for like normal basic works for most users who are not into computer science this probably would do it and finally we have zoho notebook this is again very similar to evernote and stuff like that which allows you to go ahead and then create your own books and then inside the book you could create your own notes of pages and stuff like that the only thing which i find very good in this application is the writing part of it unlike any other application which we just had a chat about this application not only allows you to sync between devices not only allows you to view them up without any paid subscription but it also allows you to draw using your drawing tablet and has a lot of features built in it's basically joplin but with writing abilities through tablet 
which I actually like but it's not open source which is why I don't use it much but at the same time I used to use this and the only thing which I did not like much is that it allows you to go ahead and then write but the writing is not smooth by itself I mean I have a very smooth tablet but the app itself makes it very rigid and unsmooth I hope you get my point there I don't know if you do but yeah that's basically it also wait there is still more I know you're dying to know what my personal framework of notebook taking is right right yeah yeah well I use a local computer application for quick notes you know quick and short stuff like YouTube scripts and you know quick mathematical calculations for my studies and so on which I don't actually need to have to sync between me and my phone and my laptop it doesn't actually need syncing I don't know why I need my YouTube script in my phone I just write it down for my laptop and then read it out loud or something like that which makes more sense right and for that I use Rnote Rnote is basically like completely tablet based and you know you use a writing tablet for that you can't just write you can't just type it down and it's not meant to be typed and then make notes using the typing scheme so it's best if you just use a tablet and then write it through it if you want to use similar apps like that i probably would suggest zoho notebook if you are into closed source and proprietary as well but if you want to write it just like that i would highly just recommend uh, using r note and then of course i need another application which you know completely syncs between all devices helps me do anything i want and has all the information i need irrespective of written or type this application needs to be all in one and needs to have the most amount of features to store most amount of my data whatever i needed to store in the form of notes and for that i use capacities but here's the thing i am also planning to jump between capacities and joplin as in i'm jumping to joplin very very soon uh, because i i think just joplin is way better than capacities when it comes to the nerdiness and the feel i get and also like the features itself is way beyond any other application it's compared to notion but joplin is basically open source which i actually like so i'm probably gonna switch from capacity to joplin soon so that's my basic workflow i use r note and either capacities or joplin and i'll let you know what i'm gonna use soon also i'm not gonna lie if you are not as much as a note taking maniac as i am and you don't want to juggle between different applications like you know for tasks and events you, you probably use like google tasks and google calendar and then for note taking using r note and joplin and you know capacities and all of these different applications completely scattered around i can see how it could be overwhelming for most people which is why i would suggest that if you don't want to make it super complicated and if you don't want like all stuff in different places and if you don't have to make a lot of notes just don't make it and also if you want to minimize the amount of apps you want to use i would just suggest you to use a hybrid application which i just had a talk about in this video a bit a few minutes ago and that probably does everything so there you have it we have built an entire note taking ecosystem that's interesting hope you guys like it if you did like go ahead hit that like button go ahead subscribe this youtube channel also if you have already subscribed and you still like my content i would highly suggest you to join the membership where i post videos almost every day not to mention the members get all the perks which normal viewers cannot get i'm sorry for that